G'day guys, my name is CJ. Now when you're traveling, there are times when you've planned your day trip, you know the location and you know what photos you're gonna get. And you only need a few lenses rather than the whole lot. This bag from Wandered is called the Rome Sling and this could be the perfect lightweight option for when you don't need that much gear. Let's take a look. Now we've had backpacks, we've had duffels, we've even had rollable and inflatable options. But finally, we've got a sling camera bag from the legends at Wandered. Now the version I've got here is the nine liter version, but the entire lineup comes in three, six, and nine liters, depending on your needs. There's also options for Wandered design laptop sleeves in 13 and 16 inch geysers, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Now to start off with, looking at the Rome, it is classic Wandered, made from absolute quality materials, weatherproof zips and thoughtful touches like the new U-pullers and handles galore from top and sides. For now, it only comes in black and tan colors and I've got the black one and I think they look really nice. They come with comfortable ventilated shoulder straps that are removable thanks to these little clips and it's complete with a hidden support strap that clips on separately for those heavier loads and longer days or if you just don't want people to come and steal your bag from you. Now the materials used are the same you'd see in the Provoke or the Hexad bags, meaning it's gonna cop all sorts of abuse perfectly fine and last the distance. On the front, there's two clippable straps, perfect to fasten things like a jacket, clothes, shoes, or a tripod. Then behind this, you've got the front pocket that'll be perfect for things like cards, passports, plus you've got a little security clip as well to put your car fob or something like that. After that, you've got the main chamber, which again opens up with these new ergonomic U-pullers that you see on the new Provokes. The one very small annoyance I had, and it's my fault really, was that the zips for both the front pocket and the main compartment are really close together, and I'd often mistakenly pull on the front pocket zip thinking, man, these zips are stiff AF before realizing my mistake. Because in reality, all of these zippers open really smoothly. Now inside the main compartment, it comes with really nice pad dividers that will safely store all your camera gear and your everyday items really, like again, jackets, snacks, shoes, and things like that. On the top flap, there's a tight pocket with space for some small items. And then just behind the cube are a couple of extra pockets for things like batteries and SD cards, but the amount you'll be able to fit really will depend on the model you end up choosing. But I can at least say that the nine liter version is perfect for someone with a mirrorless setup, and it'll actually fit a combo that's pretty damn flexible. In my case, it was deep and wide enough to fit my Fujifilm X-T3, complete with a small rig L plate and a mid range zoom and a 50 to 140 f 2.8 telephoto. Now that's a lens that's equivalent to the classic 70 to 200 in full frame terms. Now, of course, my X-T3 is an APS-C camera, so the lenses and the body are slightly more compact. And if we're talking about full frame systems like the Sony a7 and the huge lenses that go with full frame cameras, it can be a bit of a squeeze, but I do think it'll fit maybe a camera body connected with a lens plus two extra prime lenses, no problems. Then behind the main compartment is another storage pocket for more stuff like phones, sunnies, power banks, or SSDs, things like that. But then you see these little straps inside and you wonder, well, what are they for? Oh, maybe you can extend them and then connect it to the front to secure bulkier and heavier items. Maybe. But then you look on the bottom and hidden underneath a little flap here is another zipper. And when you open it, what does it store? It's actually an extension to the back pocket with this little flap here. And as it turns out, this little extension is there to fit the optional laptop case. Now only the six and nine liter versions will have these features. And yes, they do both fit up to the 16 inch case that I've got here. And honestly, that's definitely gonna be the limit because even in the nine liter version, the 16 liter case sits really tight. And let me show you putting it in. So you really have to just squeeze it in there. Just in we go. Pull and pull. Bit of a faff to get it in. 
but I guess if it's tight to get in, it means it's gonna be pretty secure. So really good for security, but less so if you're hoping to take the case in and out really quickly. If you do wanna get it out, you kind of have to push the laptop case out from the bottom first before getting it loose. Now the case itself is really well padded and it's actually designed so that you can actually use it as a stand by folding the top backwards in a kind of iPad smart cover origami kind of way. And it's also got a carry handle too on the top and it'll work completely fine as a case on its own or with other bags. Plus, if you're already into the Wondred ecosystem, there are hooks all around the case that are compatible with the different accessory straps that Wondred already sell. But when we talk about this laptop storage pocket, it'll work with any other laptop case too, since you've got this top strap that'll hold things in secure, so long that it's smaller than a 16 inch laptop. Then on the bottom, you've got a tripod or water bottle pass through on the bottom, complete with drawstring mechanisms that you'd see with camping swags and sleeping bags to hold all of this stuff in really nice and tight. But once it's fully set up with laptop in tow, it looks rather awkward, but in practice, it's actually a pretty comfortable experience. And that's thanks to the ventilated foam padding on the back, but also the fact that this padding extends all the way up to where the shoulder strap connects to the bag, so that when you're wearing it, it almost wraps around your body, kind of like it's hugging you and protects the hard or sharp surfaces of the strap and clips from cutting into your skin. Then with the laptop sitting there, it almost acts as another bit of back padding that will support your spine. And that extra support strap that we've got here is a real boon for when it's fully loaded. And you'll probably want to use it if you've got camera gear and the laptop stored inside, because it can get pretty heavy. Now with the laptop case installed, it is slightly more awkward to swing around and reach into the bag, but it's still not too bad. And it's definitely not a deal breaker. Without the laptop, it's an absolute breeze and an excellent bag to quickly get to your camera gear. And the side handles make it super, super easy and convenient. And as mentioned before, the straps are the same as what you'd see with the Provoke with nice padding and ventilation. Plus they're detachable, making it really easy to change shoulder that it sits on depending on your preference. I switched mine over to the left shoulder because I prefer it that way. But you also wanna make sure that the strap sits properly on the shoulder as well, because if it's not in the right spot, when the bag is held taut against your body, fully loaded, the clip closest to the shoulder pad just here applies a heap of pressure and it can be quite uncomfortable. But luckily the straps are really easy to adjust and because of that, you could even wear them along your waist and turn it into what us Aussies call a bum bag or a fanny pack if you're from the UK. So overall, the nine liter Roam Sling looks and feels really nice and looks like it can very easily become a versatile camera day bag. The nine liter version will retail for about 149 US dollars and this 16 inch laptop case will be about 59 US dollars. But at the time of this video, it's still being funded through Kickstarter where you can grab massive discounts. And in fact, I'm pretty sure it got funded within 30 minutes of launch, which tells you all you need to know about how people consider Wanda's reputation. Plus, they promise a lifetime warranty, which is not bad. And links will be in the description. And if you're watching this soon after I've released this video, go and check out their Kickstarter page to learn more and grab a sweet discount on it. But anyway, what do you guys think? Does a thing like this interest you and would you use it? Let me know why or why not in the comment section below or hit me up in the socials. Thanks for watching, guys. Give us a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. And of course, ding the notification bell icon so you don't miss out. As always, stay safe guys, and say good day to mum for me. Cheers.